There's a reason I'm in Palm Springs this week. And, and the reason is, is because there's some business guys in our church who've been blessed, blessed enough to put me up in their beautiful houses. Somebody said, Pastor Wendell, do you think you'll ever get a house you know, down here in the desert? And I said, why should I? I'd live with these guys. I just stay with them. They pay the taxes. Glory to God. Is this a good plan? Amen. Somebody paid for my golf today. Thank you, William. And uh, et cetera, et cetera. No, the Lord is good. But there's a purpose in that. There's a purpose in my health. There's a purpose in, in my refreshing. I need a little color on my face. Uh, whatever it may be. And then for me to be here with you. I, I, I believe Romans 8, 28, that all things work together for good. And because of our relationship, you know, I'm here two weeks in a row, which is unusual. I don't think I'll make it three. I would have to explain that to my staff. But uh, I could send a video. But, uh, uh, you know, and, and all of these kinds of things, God just works all these things together because he's got a plan. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Uh, that was just, that's a good word. I got one more for you. Can I, can I take you to the Bible and... and uh, share a scripture with you tonight. This is in Matthew chapter 11. Have a Bible or look on with somebody. And uh, do we, did we do this last week? Do we do put scriptures up? Okay, we'll do that. So Matthew 11, uh, guys, I'm using New King James, Matthew 11, 28 to 30. The last three verses of Matthew's gospel chapter 11, starting in verse 28. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy. Come on, everybody. Say it with me. My yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Amen. I, I want to read this out of a couple of other translations. This is the Amplified Bible. I don't know if you have this one up on the screen, but I'll read it to you. Amplified Bible says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden and overburdened, and I will cause you to rest. I will ease and relieve and refresh your souls. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am gentle, meek, humble, lowly in heart, and you will find rest, relief, and ease and refreshment and recreation and blessed quiet for your souls. For my yoke is wholesome, useful, good, not harsh, hard, sharp, or pressing, but comfortable, gracious, and pleasant. And my burden is light and easy to be borne. Amen? Yeah. Then the Message Bible, you got to love Eugene Peterson, classic guy. <laughs> yeah. Nobody thinks like him. I mean, he's just unusual. So here's his version. Are you tired, worn out, burnt out on religion? Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like a vitamin commercial, <laughs> you know? Anybody remember the Lucy show, Vita Vegemin? Yeah. Anybody say, you kind of got a vision of that? <laughs> I don't Vita Vegemin. <laughs> and she keeps drinking it and drinking it as she's giving, doing the commercial. Let's do one more shoot. Pretty soon she's just... Anyway, okay. Are you tired, pooped out? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Worn out, burn out on religion. Okay, we got it up on the screen. Come to me. Get away with me and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me, and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Come on. Amen? Amen? Now, I believe that there are way too many believers who have made it hard to be a Christian. Like, it's, like this is tough. You know, I'm, I'm serving the Lord. Pastor, pray for me. You know, I, you know last week it was, I appreciated your message, and I'm, I'm trying to smile more, but, oh, you know, I, 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 I had a tough week. Dev, the devil personally was after me all week. He came to my house, you know. And, you know, we just get, we get this uh, complex, you know, like, oh, man, the devil is out to steal my identity, you know. And uh, he's really, really on me. You know, the devil, this is one thing you, you got to remember and you got to appreciate. We, we serve a great big God and we resist a very little bitty devil. Amen? Right. And you need to keep that perspective and don't get the two mixed up. Yeah. And you need to realize that the devil is not omnipresent. The devil is not omniscient. The devil is not omnipotent. 
He doesn't know everything that's going on. And by the way, it, it's, uh, it, it's undoubtedly probably almost never him personally yeah. tempting you. We call it the devil, and even the Bible does. But he has representatives, you know. And there's only so many demons to go around. You know, it, this is literally true, and uh, you're, you're not always, they're not going to be a demon harassing you every day. You resist the devil, he will flee. flee. That means he flees. That means he leaves. That means you're going to have a day or an hour, a time, a season of peace. Come on, you can believe for that. Yeah. Resist him, and let's believe for that, that we can, we can live those kinds of lives. His yoke is easy. Listen to those words. His yoke is easy. His burden is light. We had this brother in our church, God bless him, and he's doing better now. But he's, uh, he's a missionary uh, of sorts, but he's kind of the, uh, oh gosh, you know, the, the covert type missionary that goes in and helps un -people, unreached people groups in jungles and obscure places and, and so forth, and persecuted believers, particularly uh, in some of these different places. And I have the utmost respect for him, and I just, it's like, you know, here am I, Lord, send him. And uh, I, I'm so thrilled that he's doing it and that he's part of our church. And so we pray for him and cover him and everything else. But, uh, you know, he's, he's addressing the issues of persecuted, harassed uh, people in horrible circumstances and situations. Really, really bad. Well, you can imagine, you know, if, if you were doing that day in and day out or every month or so, he's traveling all around the world. He's always got a job back at home, but... Uh, out traveling and, and doing some of this stuff. And the stuff he sees and the suffering that, that you know, he's facing with these people, it, it could be a little heavy on you, yeah. you know? So this brother, you know, uh, bless his heart, came in to see me and wanted to know, you know, how I felt about his ministry and so forth. And I, so anyway, we, at the end of the conversation, I just said, um, you know, what's, what's wrong with you? Why are you so unhappy? And he looked at me, you know, okay. I'm, I'm not unhappy. I, I, I have the joy of the Lord. <laughs> I said, well, you know, nobody would ever know it. And I said, you know, you don't show it on your face. And I said, you know, it's a problem. And, and I said, uh, you know, I, I want to encourage you that, uh, you know, you need to rejoice in the Lord. I give you all the scriptures. And he even started to smile, you know, while he was sitting in my office. And I said, honestly, I said, you need to work on it. You need to let, let it shine on your countenance. And and you need to, you know, to overcome this kind of stuff. I said, it's not that hard what you're doing. Well, you know, I deal with a lot of heavy situations and people who are being persecuted. I said, yeah, and they need joy. You're right. You're I mean, right. they need the presence of God, and His presence is fullness oh, of joy. So I said, if, if you're going to give them good news, you need to show it, and you need to express it, and so forth, and all those kind of things. Well, and, and he's doing better, and he's working on it. But I mean, even in church, I'll be looking at him, you know, he's, hmm, you know. And nowadays, it's kind of gone to a, hmm, you know, it's better. And, uh, you know, I, I still don't look at him a lot. But, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's all right. You know, he, he's, he's coming around.